morning, I'm Tony Cecil with Agco Product Specialist. This morning we're going to be installing a drag rod kit on this Dynaflex header. Before getting under the head to install the drag rods, make sure to lower the safety stop on the lift cylinders. Now we're going to install a potentiometer and then calibrate the drag rod potentiometer. You'll notice in the potentiometer there's a little metal tab. It's important that we get that metal tab in the slot and save the one off of an old potentiometer if you're changing it. It does not come with the new potentiometer. You'll no notice that we have a slotted rod coming through the potentiometer housing. Before we install the potentiometer, have the slot in the rod going parallel or in line with the two mounting screw holes for the potentiometer. You'll now install the potentiometer into the threaded rod face with the connector facing rearward. You'll then rotate the potentiometer 180 degrees counterclockwise. You'll be able to feel the spring load start to set on the potentiometer. Then take your machine screws plug the connector into the potentiometer. Now we'll go to our monitor and go through the calibration process of the potentiometer. We're now going to adjust the potentiometer for the calibration. With the drag rod all the way down, you need a reading of 3.9 volts on the monitor in the cab. With the rod all the way up, shoot for a target of 1.1 volts. If you can't get exactly to 1.1, ensure that you only are that you have a minimum of a 1 volt difference between drag rod all the way down and all the way up. To make this adjustment, you'll use an Allen wrench and the set screw in the bottom side of the drag rod mount by the potentiometer. Loosen that set screw, place your screwdriver in the slotted shaft and slowly rotate the shaft until you get the desired reading in the cab. Once the desired reading is met, secure the set screw and verify by travel of the drag rod that you've reached your target voltages.